So the question is whether AlI3, this is aluminum iodide, sometimes called aluminum triiodide, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So to figure that out, we have the neutralization reaction that produced this aluminum iodide. We have a base, so we have this hydroxide group bonded to a metal, that's our base, and then an acid, we have this H here in front of the I, this is hydroiodic acid. These combine, they produce Ali3 and water. It's a neutralization reaction. So we have our reaction. Now we need to find the strength of the acid in the base. So this is a helpful table to memorize. Here's the strong acids, strong bases. We don't see aluminum hydroxide on our list of strong bases. So we're going to consider this to be a weak base. HI, hydroiodic acid, that's right here. It's a strong acid. So we're going to write SA so we can remember strong acid. Now we have the strength of the acid in the base. We can use these rules here to figure out whether Ali3 is acetic, basic, or neutral dissolved in water. Let's see, weak base, strong acid. Here's a weak base, strong acid. So the pH, that's going to be less than 7 when our Ali3 is dissolved in water. That means it's going to be an acetic solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.